65% of your water comes from groundwater sources. Not sure what groundwater sources are? Let's explain it to you. The process starts with rainfall. Underground chalk aquifers store water over many months as rainwater slowly seeps into them. An aquifer is a rock that has little cracks, fissures and tiny holes, pores, which can hold water like a sponge. Rain soaks into these instead of lying on the surface. In summer, more water evaporates from the surface and is used by plants, so less rainwater enters the soil and rock. The soil becomes much drier, which also makes it harder for water to seep down. During the winter, when temperatures are cooler and there's less plant growth, more rainfall typically filters through to the chalk. This tops up the aquifer. In our region, we receive about 550 millimetres of rainfall each year per square metre of land. Only 30% of that total rainfall finds its way to the aquifer. Although we've seen some rainfall recently, short bursts of heavy rain run straight into rivers and drains without ever reaching the aquifer. This means it takes longer for the aquifer to top up. At Affinity Water, we believe in simplicity and sustainability. We want to be able to carry on supplying high quality water to a growing population while also protecting the environment. That's why we're committed to reducing the amount of water we take from the environment. We've already reduced the amount we take by 63 million litres per day. But with this growing population, we've got a lot more work to do. Two thirds of your water comes from local groundwater sources. We take this groundwater from 250 boreholes and wells. A borehole is a hole in the ground. Water seeps into these boreholes and we then pump the water and send it off to our production sites for treatment. We only take what we need based on demand. The less water our customers need, the more we can leave in the environment. Our dedicated teams have already fixed 9,000 leaks since April 2022, which helps to reduce the amount of water wasted. We have limits on how much water we can take, and this is decided through licences, which are provided by the Environment Agency. Taking care of your water involves a few different things we need to do to make sure we provide the highest quality water to your taps. 65% of our water is taken from underground. It filters through the chalk aquifer, so it requires a less intensive treatment process. We use ultraviolet filtration and other resources to remove any harmful bacteria. The other 35% comes from surface water sources. This includes from the River Thames and from reservoirs located outside of our supply area. Surface water needs more treatment than groundwater because the water isn't naturally as clean. We've invested in solar renewables at our treatment sites to make these processes more energy efficient and to help reduce our carbon footprint. After the water's treated, it's pumped into large underground storage reservoirs or water towers before making the final journey through to our customers' taps. We have a team of expert scientists who sample our water on a daily basis. We take samples from each part of the treatment process, our network right through to our customers' taps. We only treat and store the water we need based on demand and weather patterns. Water is heavy. It weighs a tonne per cubic metre. That's the same amount of water a family of four would use in about a day and a half and we need to supply about 936 million litres of it to 3.8 million people every single day. Here at Affinity Water, we have a network of around 17,000 kilometres of water mains, which is the same as the distance from London to Sydney. Once our water's been treated, it's then pumped through these mains to our customers. Extreme weather conditions, such as a freeze-thaw or a heat wave, cause pressure on our network, where both the ground and the pipes expand and contract. This is one of the main factors that leads to leaky pipes, along with general wear and tear, 
and may temporarily interrupt your supply. Also, when the demand on our network is high, for example on a hot day in July when people are using lots of water, this can cause low pressure in the pipework and may also affect your water supply. Our dedicated teams work around the clock to find and fix these leaks. We use satellites, thousands of sensors and loggers monitoring our network 24-7. We're investing in projects to renew these water mains and to improve our network to avoid these leaks in the future. If you spot a leak out and about, make sure you report it through our online system so our team can come and investigate. The southeast of England has been classed as a water stressed area. This means the need for water is higher than the available amount. In summer, more water is used. Leaks, high demand, droughts and the way people use water all add to this and can lead to lower water pressure. We're reliant on the weather for the amount of water we have available to us. Our region has one of the lowest total annual average rainfalls per person in the United Kingdom. Climate change has also increased our chances of having longer, drier summers with higher temperatures. To make sure we have enough water for everyone, we're helping people to think about how they use water with our Save Our Streams campaign. You can sign up to find out how to save more water. We've also introduced a metering programme. This can help spot leaks and high usage areas. You can also book a free home water efficiency check. We can all do our part to help and we'll continue to invest in our infrastructure to help plan for the future. Where does your water go once it's been used? When used water goes down the drain, it travels through a network of sewer pipes. These pipes take the water through a rigorous process of sifting, treating and redistributing into the environment once it's completely cleaned and recycled. At Affinity Water, we only look after clean water. This means that all of your used water is handled by a wastewater company. Across our supply area, Anglia Water, Southern Water and Thames Water provide this service for our customers. To keep this simple for our customers, we include the wastewater charges on your bill to make sure everything is kept in one place rather than having two separate bills. If you'd like to find out what company is responsible for your wastewater, this will be on your bill. You can also visit our wastewater page online and do a quick postcode search to find out.